My name is Dominic Taylor, coming from San Diego, Nitty's Tattoo Parlor, working on a Sublime piece for the Sublime Art Show the anniversary. I'm putting together right now is a little tribute. Starting off the Lou Dog. You know what I mean? And have the band members kind of like reflected in the sunglasses. I grew up in Baltimore, or between Baltimore and DC. A lot of times I was going back and forth between the city, and then I'm a military brat, so. You know, I would go onto the bases, be in the suburbs and go back to the city and then, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But being in Baltimore, you're in between DC, you're in between Philly, you're in between New York, you got Jersey. So there's a lot of different, you know what I mean, ethnicities, it's, a, it's, it's like a melting pot. A lot of times, me and my family, we would go to the art expos that's in the cities. You know, there would be the one in DC, there's a big one at Temple University in Philadelphia. We would go to a lot of the ones down south, down in Georgia, you know, so you would see a lot of different, different art. You would see sculptures, you would see paintings, you would see drawings, and it would be of old black culture. You know, and if you would go to different parts of the cities, you would see the different ethnicities showing their cultures. So if you would go to a certain part, like in New York, if you would go to Queens, for instance, or if you go to Brooklyn, you know what I mean? You're gonna see a lot of Jamaican heritage. You're gonna see a lot of, you know what I'm saying, that culture there. So it's just, I, I, I grab to a lot of that stuff. I grab to a lot of those different feelings. I started getting into art around the age of five. I was always uh, going downstairs, waking up early, trying to draw Saturday morning cartoons. I have like a stack of comic books just sitting right there. You know what I mean? I'll just like pick for the, for the day what, what pages I want to draw. Just started going from there pretty much. A lot of comic books, a lot of comic books. Right after college, I went to community college because my grades suck. <laughs> Picked the wrong time to focus. But I uh, went to community college uh, to work on my GPA and everything like that. Got my associate's degree in fine art. And then I transferred to Maryland Institute College of Art and did that for about four years. I think going to college helped out my career and my foundation a lot. It really taught me a sense of discipline, and just trying to always work at it, always trying to perfect it, always trying to see what I could do to challenge myself. My family was very supportive. Uh, a lot of a lot of times they they would see me drawing or you know what I mean taking sharpies and drawing on myself and everything and they knew that I really really had a strong interest and desire into doing art. Some things that influenced me are classical paintings, whether if it's like Caravaggio or Bernini. I look at a lot of uh, recent artists, illustrators like James Jean, Mark Fredrickson, Alex Ross. Uh, there's, there's a good couple of them.
I think the biggest struggle is procrastination. Uh, for me, I'm always trying to be on point with my time book and uh, trying to give the right things the, the right amount of time. So sometimes a lot of my artwork will either get pushed to the side or something else will get pushed to the side. You know, so it's just really trying to be on point for my deadlines and when uh, I need to have certain art done for shows or for um, commissions. For the most part, I usually work in charcoal with a little bit of acrylic. I've always been drawn to black and white, which is why I love tattooing in black and gray. But uh, for the most part, I always work in charcoal, and then other times I work in acrylic and airbrush, just because I love doing realism and uh, painting realism. I would say I teach myself a lot from charcoal because you're, you're constantly dealing with rich dark blacks and um, high contrast to really give that effect and feeling. So I try to pull that, 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 same, that same feeling out of, out of my artwork and put that into my tattoos. All my pieces are, are pretty special because they're, they mark a certain time in my life. So to pick one is really, really hard. I would say the one I'm probably the most drawn to would be the recent one. And it's just because it was something that was very simple. It started off as a sketch and I just, this went free thrall, and then next thing you know, it ended up being a series, and it ended up being um, a piece that I really would like to explore the, the idea of it. The series that I'm working on right now is called Black and Brown, and what it does, it's a fusion of the art and the culture that I have come to, to love. You know, moving to different areas. You know, I, being from the East Coast, I've been all up and down from, you know, I mean, Boston all the way down to Florida. And, you know, I've been to other places in New Orleans, uh, coming out here. And it's just, it's, it's, it's different cultures. So, so learning out here, there's a lot of, Chicano style art, you know what I mean? It's all beautiful, it's all powerful, and it reminds me of the old school going to going to your grandmother's kitchen and seeing like the Buffalo Soldiers out and everything like that. You know, we had that same type of pride and that same type of, you know what I mean, beautiful artwork that's shown. So I just always wanted to, to blend the styles just to bring them together. And uh, that's why I came out with that, with that whole series. So the first one is starting off with a girl. It's a, close, a very, very extreme close up on a girl. Um, you can't really tell what ethnicity she is. And she's uh, painted as a clown girl. And I just wanted to just show power through, through her eyes. You know what I mean? It's still innocent, but yet, you know what I mean, provoking. Um, the next piece that I'm working on right now is going to be the Brooklyn Luchador and that's kind of playing with the different styles of, you know what I mean, the old school bullying from around the way, you know, but at the same time still wants to show that pride, still wants to show that strength. So he, ha he has on his Luchador mask. And, um, just want to have fun with it, you know, show a difference in the cultures from East Coast to West Coast. A, 
A lot of times people um, check out my work through uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook. I have a blog. It's uh, www.thebeautifulgrind.blogspot.com. I always feature a lot of my artwork, especially if I'm working on a new piece. I feature it through that. But anything else is usually, it's usually through social media. My Instagram is theartist04. Art career would be to travel, getting more gallery shows, whether if it's in the states or out of the states, and just finding different ways to implement the art that I practice into my tattooing. <laughs> oh man. Coming from San Diego, Nitty's Tattoo Parlor. 